In this video, I'm bringing back every single MLB legend and putting them into one fantasy draft. And I will tell you right now, there are going to be some new super teams that get created. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead, pick a team. Let's get into this thing. Let's go ahead and spin this wheel and see what team we're going to be taking over as we're getting the Brewers. Hey, the Brewers have not won a World Series yet, so this will be perfect. Let's just hope that we get a good spot in the draft and we're not in the top 14 at least. Please tell me we're like 15th. All right, come on, baby, please. Oh, gosh, no, no. no. Are you serious? dude we're 30th i'm not gonna have anybody who the heck am i even gonna be able to get as babe ruth went 29th okay i feel pretty confident now oh and we're still fine baby look at this we got chipper jones david ortiz mark mcguire jeff bagwell the amount of legends that we still have available right here not to mention we get back-to-back -back picks since we got 30th we're gonna have the next pick as well and oh my gosh roberto clemente bro this is gonna be nuts i think with my first pick i gotta go pitching and i gotta go pedro i mean just look at the guy's stupid wheel i mean it's basically 94 plus on everything so i 100 think this is going to be the best choice for us right now leading off with pitching is going to be nice so now that we got pedro we can pretty much get whoever we want now and i think we go out and try to get the captain of this offense and we got to go with the hall of famer chipper jones combat from both sides 99 overall 27 years old a perfect choice right there so now joining the squad we got pedro martinez and chipper jones on the brewers also look at the top five right here you got willie mays going first makes sense then you got 22 year old bryce harper how the heck dude harper went above mickey mantle that is crazy, dude. Then you got Tom. Then, of course, Mickey Mantle, Eddie Matthews, freaking Orlando Cepeda. Heck, Aaron goes seven. Also, Evan Longoria goes 15. Coach. Coach, what are you doing, dude? I love Longo. He's one of my favorite players of all time, but still. Him going 15th when Pedro and Chipper were still out here, that's insane. Also, Shohei Otani didn't even get taken until the second round. The Marlins got him. 18th pick in the second round. That is insane, dude. Back to it, though. The 30th pick of round three. And oh my gosh, this has gone down heavily. Now everybody's going to be approaching 30. This ain't as good as I was hoping. I was hoping that we could find at least a couple more younger guys as Satchel Page. Oh my gosh, dude, please. Do I get the dude just for the memes? 15. 58 years old the oldest player in baseball i don't know why but i really do want to get the guy 58 years old is crazy for real talk let's be smart john smoltz 23 years old 96 overall is just sitting out here we're legit about to build a super team from the pitching side and i think with our next pick we gotta go larry the 30 year old left you can play second base third base shortstop left field center field and right field it's an easy layup so there we go let's take him next up catch him we got three or four options right here of course we could go Jorge posada would be a fantastic guy to get we could also get joe torrey again super solid but honestly, I'm thinking Jason Kendall. Look at the contact and the vision on a catcher. Also, look at the guy's speed too. You really do not see this in modern day baseball with the catcher. So I feel like we got to go Jason. So there we go. Round six. I think we got to get another pitcher now. And my God, this one's hard, dude. I do like how Satchel Page is still out here though. That's funny. If he's still out here and we need like one more starter, I might actually go with him just because the guy's 58. It's so crazy. But for us right now, I'm going Jim Palmer. I like the break. I like the clutch. Let's just go with him. So there we go. Now first base, we got a lot of options here i could go willie stardrip but the guy's 39 years old i could go eddie but again 34 years old it's just gonna be going downhill pretty fast really the three options for me right now are buck o'neill matt olsen and freddie freeman and to be honest i'm thinking buck the contact the speed the fielding the vision is crazy and considering matt olsen and this dude are both the same overall i think we gotta go buck to be honest i think we do it now for shortstop i need a guy that's just gonna hit a double pretty much every single time he's up there and that's gonna be xander bogarts i mean this guy's 308 doubles out of the 1400 hits that he has i gotta get the guy so there we go. And now it's probably a good time to go ahead and build up this bullpen a little bit. We got waiting for it. We still got John Smoltz out here. Okay. Giovanni Gallegos, not even freaking close. I'm not getting this dude. Michael King, Ron, John. I'm, you know what? I'm just going to go. I think I'm going to go Whitey. The guy is 32, but he's such a beast. So I'm just going to go with him. And then after that, I think we go out to right field and get Mike Trout's evil twin. We still do need a little bit of power in this team. And Hunter Renfro is going to be that guy. So there we are. And now with the final pick, I'm just going to go ahead and do up until I let the computer just go ahead and run crazy with this thing. I'm getting satchel page for our fifth starter i gotta do it i'm sorry i gotta know what coach is gonna do to a 58 year old if this game and coach back there absolutely destroy people that turn 35 i don't even want to imagine a guy that's close to 60 so satchel page there we go now go ahead and simulate the rest of the draft and let's see how the heck we did plus i gotta see what that they'll be turned into so first for us i gotta see it what rank do we got ninth in rank okay definitely could have been better i do like the first in pitching though but for us getting the 30th pick i think we did very very well i gotta see what team 
teams the game's given top five to, though. Let's try to find the first ranked team, and that was actually very easy. The Orioles out of everybody, I right? What the heck do you guys got that gave you the first overall right now? And okay, that's actually very good. But I'll be honest, this does not feel like a first overall team. Grady size weren't fantastic, but Austin Riley at 97 overall. And everybody else that's on this team, honestly, I really don't feel them being first overall. That's kind of crazy. Second ends up being the Marlins, and this makes a lot more sense. Oh my gosh. How did the Marlins not get first? Lou Gehrig, Shohei Otani, Larry Walker, Jackie Robinson, just to name the first four. Oh my God. Yeah, I think this team's going to be freaking tough to beat. Third's the Blue Jays, and guys, how the heck are we going to compete with these teams? I know we got a good team too, but oh my gosh. I'm actually getting nervous. This is not good. Fourth is going to be the Astros, and they got a pretty solid team too. Reggie Jackson, Derek Jeter, Hilton Smith, and Evan Longoria, plus Vladdy Guerrero Jr. Again, Longoria being a 96 is so nice to see, but still, it's very weird. Now, the last one we're going to go ahead and check is the Royals coming in at fifth, and this, again, makes a lot of sense. 22-year-old Johnny Bench at 99 overall. That's so dumb. George Brett, someone made it back to the Royals. That's nice to see. And this entire team is also going to be insane. Let's get this thing going. Again, I think we got a pretty good team, but there's a lot of players out there that went through some crazy teams. Let's hope that we can at least keep up a little bit. Let's see how the first year goes in this new MLB, and let's hope that we don't get body bagged. Let's see how the opening day goes, though. Pedro Martinez, Carlos Rodon, and we already lost it. All right, cool. Home run derby time. I think we got to see it. What the heck is this even going to be? Every MLB legend, plus the current players competing for the home run derby. What the heck is this even going to look like? And oh my God. Honestly, it's not even close to what I thought it was going to be. Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, Jason Bay. Everybody else looks normal. And somehow George Springer, out of everybody, actually climbed up in here. How the heck did that happen? And of course, bro, this is going to be so nuts to see. Mike Trout versus Hank Aaron. I need you guys in the comments right now. Who the heck is going to win this? I'm giving you guys like five seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and find out real quick. So go ahead and make your pick now. Let's go ahead and see who the heck did it. And Hank Aaron, of course. Bro, he slapped Mike Trout around 23 to 13. Yo, Trout didn't even have a chance, bro. Oh my gosh. Now the all-star game. And oh, imagine if this could be real. A National League all-star team with Jackie Robinson, Lou Brock, Hank Aaron, Bryce Harper, Lou Gehrig, Eddie Matthews, Willie Mays, Joe Maurer, and Jimmy Rollins with Babe Ruth on the bench. If floating was a real thing, this would be so insane. Now we're here July 31st. We are 57 and 49. We are at the top of the NL Central, just barely. We got to try to take this lead. And the biggest thing that I need is some outfield help because these dudes are not doing anything. So I need to check the block. Who do we got for the outfield as all of these guys are first basemen? All right. We do have Taylor Ward. We do have Harrison Bader, but that's pretty much it. I need like a lot of help. So I'm going out and trying to find some absolute studs out here for left field. Someone like a Billy Williams, 32 years old, 94 overall. Someone doing crazy. Please tell me we can get the guy in. Oh, just so close. Hey, how about Joe Carter? This dude is doing fantastic so far. Try to take him off the Rangers and oh my gosh, we can actually get him. Let this be known. Max Kepler, Kyle Lewis, and Jesus Sanchez for Joe Carter. Hey, thank you, game. I appreciate it. That's so dumb. Besides that, first base is apparently 27th. Yo, my boy Buck is getting disrespected. I mean, the guy's not doing the greatest on the team, but the guy who is is Hunter Renfro. I did not see that one coming. Now, after those moves, we're at first in rank, finally. First in rank, first in contact, 18 in power, but whatever. And then first in pitching. Also, one last thing before we go, I gotta do a wellness check on Satchel Page. My boy's 60, and he's down to an 85 overall. Let's see how this team finishes out, and let's hope that we can make it to the postseason. Come on, guys. It's coming down to the very end, and we just barely made it in. 88 and 74 are taking on the Giants in the wild card. Oh, my goodness. Awards real quick. Babe Ruth, obviously. For the NL MVP, Chipper Jones coming so close in second, and then Aaron Judge on the Pirates in third. Hey, y'all, we got to see it. David Ortiz. Honestly, I didn't really expect David Ortiz to be the one to win it, but hey, good for him. But guys, look at Chipper Jones, and look at Hunter Renfro. Why is Hunter Renfro doing so good. He's legit keeping up with Hall of Famers. This doesn't feel okay. Like, it really doesn't feel okay. The Satchel Page to end off the year is a 79 overall. Like I said, this game is going to murder these guys. And they did, basically. Also, where's John Smoltz, our best guy who tore his labrum? That's sick. Had a six year right for us. All right, John. Let's see how we do the Pedro versus the Cy Young. So this is just going to be terrible. Come on, Pedro, baby. Let's go. As we lost by one. Jim Palmer now versus Zach Gallen. Won that one. And then Joe Musgrove. You got a clutch up versus Christian Javier. And he did it. How the heck did we do that? Now, versus the Pirates. Page overs one. Game one, please. Oh my gosh. Same exact score. Jim Palmer now versus Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole back on the Pirates. What the heck? Come on, Palmer. There we are. 11 to 10. That could not have been closer as our bullpen tried to give it up. One to one, though. Musgrove versus Foster. We lost that one by two. Pedro versus Eric Lauer. If we lose to Eric Lauer, I'm done. And we lost to Eric Lauer. I'm done. You're telling me 
Eric Lauer just outpitched Pedro freaking Martinez. Bro, what is this game on? Who the heck is going to win this as the Yankees and the Mets in the World Series? And they got Nathan Ovaldi going up against Clayton Kershaw. A Subway Series World Series. Ovaldi, how you going to do? And he chokes that one. Next up, Martin versus Chris Bassett. Oh my God, he choked that one too. Cliff Lee now versus Logan Gilbert. I think we got to go in. In Yankee Stadium too, and here comes the big boy. Prince Fielder, let's get it, baby. This is not the stance I remember you having. Let's go, Prince versus Logan Gilbert. How you going to do, baby? That is a dot. Okay. Again, I do not remember Prince Fielder having this batting stance. I remember it being much taller. Like, I remember him standing a lot taller. But okay, Logan Gilbert, that's a nice pitch as we just smack that to the third baseman. All right, cool. I got to see how far Prince Fielder can smack this thing is oh my god look how far that thing got smoked and just like that we take the lead then in the top of the sixth inning prince fielder did something that i really didn't expect because i didn't really talk my guy pimped a home run his second home run of the game out to left field off the foul ball now back up in the top of the eighth a two homer day for prince fielder can we make it three please oh my gosh that would have been perfect give me three home runs in game seven to solidify this thing for the Mets. we're also wearing the black mets jerseys too this is so perfect please baby please oh my god that sinker show it to me dude show it to me show it to me that's it that's on the ground but that still goes up the middle is that gonna be able to do it though for the mets and it does i don't want to say that prince fielder single-handedly won that game for them but i think we kind of did we scored three of the four rbis went three for four two home runs my boy a perfect way to end that mets you are welcome as prince fielder finally there we go gets the world series mvp